are here downtown Roseburg. We're about to step into Reverie Record Store and uh, try a couple of their beers because they have a bunch of beer on tap. So we're gonna go check that out real quick. Ready, Dave? Let's Santa? do it. Yes. Yeah. All right. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Jump in. Yeah. So this is a record store, and they have a lot of records, very nice records, by the way, like some of the best records in Douglas County. And uh, they also have great coffee, some of the best coffee. Man, I've actually sat down and tried it. I know I sound like Trump right now, but that's not what I'm trying to go for. <laughs> they have great coffee, and uh, they also have some beer on tap, as well as in the cooler, so let's go try some. <laughs> So uh, super busy, super nice to see uh, this little spot getting a lot of people in here. So we're just gonna hold tight for a second, let the line die down, grab a couple beers. You know what it's about. Dave, you shop at your right? Me never, never. <laughs> So does Cheyenne. Yeah. I like to look. I don't have a record player yet. No, I don't either. But, I like to but look. you guys need to. Yeah. I know. I definitely need a record player. Hey, comment below if you like records and if you have a record player. Yeah. And let us know if you play the records. I like them. I like the sound. Yeah. So it's definitely something I want to get into. The sound yeah. on vinyl is way different. Yeah, than it is. Yeah. It sounds really good though. I mean, my collection is getting close to 400 now. <laughs> Damn. It's huge. <laughs> it is. Before Reverie, it was like 60s. So That's why you're doing the yard sales? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty, Pretty much. So yeah. buy more records. Right so yeah. And I'll be buying one before we leave here tonight. Yeah, records made a comeback. They have. It's insane. Oh, that's I think that's awesome, though. I mean, just here in downtown Roseburg, there's like four or five locations so where you can buy records right now. Oh, it's really cool. I mean, this is the only one for new, but for you, yeah, they're all over the place. It's great. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's amazing, you know, how, you know, how much records has come back and just sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're going to come back and film a full episode here in the future, so yeah. stay tuned to the channel. Yeah, a nice, you know. And only because it's connected with beer. They have <laughs> Yes, because that's what we are. We're beverage hunters, and this if we find a cool business connected. that has great taps and great beer, we're gonna be there. That's where our Outside the Brew show comes from. There you go. And this will be definitely our next episode. Yeah. <laughs> of Outside the Brew. Of Outside the Brew. Yeah. Not behind the room, but outside the room. Because so, they don't brew here. <laughs> Very nice to meet you. You guys have a good rest. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah, I know. I have to edit all, all this music out. Dang it, I forgot about that. <laughs> edit that out! Stormbreaker. Ghost Town. There you go, Albert. <laughs> Every record shop. Right on, dude. How long have you been in business? Whoa. Gonna be a year on uh, November. Year. Yeah. So, still brand new to Pretty the Roseburg new. area. Yeah. Super cool. Yeah. A lot of records. A lot of records. Do you keep uh, like a lot of newer records and older records on here, in here? Yeah, we have all new and brand new and old records. Nice. Yeah. So pre-owned records and brand new pressings, and then newer kind of used records also. Sweet. Um, all right, taps. How many beer taps do you keep on here? So we have five beer taps by one cider always. Sweet. Yeah, and all six barrels. Nice. And we, you know, as, as early as one week, we switch them out. We just had a hazy, fresh off hazy. Oh, I missed that one. Yeah, <laughs> last, lasted six days, so not even a week. <laughs> I can see that. Yeah, so it's kind of cool we all switching around between the stuff that, you know, basically kind of try to get local breweries, yeah. smallish kind of breweries. Right on. That's cool. And they try to get new stuff that we normally don't get around here in Rosemary. Nice. How often do you switch those out? 
between like if, if one goes out, do you get a different one in? Yes. Type of Usually, deal? I mean, we've we've done same type of beer. Yeah. You know, like I always try and get like an easy drinking beer, so I'll have like a pale, a cold, a Mexican lager, some sort of lager. Yeah. And so that kind always, you know, we might have the same type of uh, like the same brewery. But I'll wait like maybe two or three kegs to get it again. So okay. it's not the same. I never I never put the same beer back to back. Wow, okay. Yeah. That's Either really like cool. three or four. Yeah, I, I could say that his list here is changes all the time. Yeah. I come in here myself about once a week. And it's always a different tap list every time I'm in here. That's awesome. Which is amazing. Yeah. It's great. And coffee, you do a lot of good coffee. A lot of coffee local also from Eugene. Nice. So we try and yeah. same thing with the tea. That's true. So yeah, we try and uh, try and get as much of the local businesses, small businesses involved. That way we can support each other. So I think that's important. I like that a lot. Yeah. So you, you, we have here a small local business supporting small local business. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. yeah, it helps build the build the pot up around. Here. Yeah, everyone's got a little piece of that pot. Yeah, yeah. I think it's important. You know? It is. It's yeah. extremely important. Yeah. It's extremely important. And I think people look for that nowadays more. It does. Yeah. Yeah. I know I do. <laughs> yeah, they're interested in getting you know good beer, but they're also interested in supporting small and getting to know the small breweries around here. And then and then we also push like, yeah, you gotta go check them out. Yeah. Right. We can only get because we only get half barrels. I mean six barrels. Yeah. There's a lot of beer that don't reach to us, so I'm trying to pump those guys to to get some more food traffic. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and records, those are also blowing up. Yeah. Oh yeah, uh, yeah for sure. The new last couple years records have gone back up in popularity. Oh yeah, yeah. insane. Last year was the first year that it surpassed yeah. CD sales yeah. in wow. 30 years. So. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. yeah, crazy. Awesome. Crazy. Yeah. 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 All right, well thank you very much. Thanks guys. We're going to go we'll try these real quick yeah, yeah. over here and uh, talk about the beer in a record store. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> All right, guys, here we are at Reverie Records with our beers poured fresh off the tap. You just heard a little bit about it. Hopefully the music wasn't too loud. Um, I have the Stormbreaker IPA, 6.4%. Very clean, look at that. Well, I mean, I don't know, I like that. It's very hot. I'm gonna tell you that right now. It's hops, hopped to death. <laughs> our new shirt line. Here it is. Very green hop, but very easy to drink green hop. It's pretty good. All right, you have the cider from. Oh my goodness. Band and Rain. Band and Rain. Thank you. That's good because honestly, I have no cherry idea what I have in my glass. So. All right. It's cherry. Yes, you got the cherry. Go ahead. Let's. Uh, what do you get? I smell the cherry. Really? Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. This is very tart. Oh, so like a tart cherry. cherry. It is a tart cherry. Yeah, it's a cherry I mean, typically is. is. Yeah. Yeah. It's very tart. Tart for the course. You have to like it like more of a sour. If you were okay. Into this. Yes, it's very okay. More sour. So Nick, you would like this one. Yeah, it's sour. I like it, but I like sours when it comes to there cider. You go. Because to me, I taste all of them. You right. do get a huge cherry flavor from this. That's good. Uh, we've been doing a lot of cideries lately, so. Yeah. Uh, another one, Band and Rain off, out of Band and obviously just over on the coast. Um, pretty cool to have them over here. Yeah. And try some more stuff. And I was just there myself a you know, couple weeks ago. Yes. If you follow us on Facebook, did a flight video. I didn't do a video, but I did a flight there. You know, it was excellent. I love Band and Rain. It's one of my best favorite cideries. All right, Dave, what do you got in the class? <laughs> uh, you, you, you got a uh, ghost yeah, something. Ghost, ghost town. town. Ghost IPA town. Or okay, IPA. ghost town IPA. IPA. We're rolling yeah. with what they said. Yeah, <laughs> this is an IPA from Ghost Town, I guess. Yeah, yeah, Ghost Town Brewing. So yeah, I haven't had anything from them yet. So I don't think I have either. This might be my first Stormbreaker as well. Stormbreaker's good. I think I did a Stormbreaker once, but I don't know. have. I don't know. Go watch our videos. You'll yeah, see. Yeah, right, yeah. Dave, give it a try. Watch our videos. Let's talk about it. Ghost Town. Let's talk about this one. That's good. It's got a nice little skankiness to it. I like okay. that. Yeah, it's good solid IPA. 
And that's why I always mind. Not really any other than you know, that good skankiness yeah. Yeah. around an IPA. Okay. I can't really tell if it's real citrusy. Like a good hop. Yes. Hop. Yeah, it's very hop forward. That's this one. This yeah. one's very hoppy, straightforward hop. With yeah, color yeah. This is this same. is definitely an IPA that I would drink. Here, let's go ahead and swap these out. Okay, let's do that. <laughs> yours is like easier. We'll try yours next. Yeah, even with my yeah. salt. Oh, wow, on. but this has a more juicy scent than that one does. Yeah, yeah, I like mine better. This one, yeah, you can have that back. I like mine better. This one, <laughs> the Ghost Town, is more. It tastes like a hazy IPA. Like yeah, it's real sweet. Um, Citrus forward, kind of a full body. It doesn't look, taste the way it looks. Yeah. Like it looks very clear and lager esque, but it's this more of a. This is an IPA I would flavor. highly recommend. Definitely. Yeah. If you like, you know, wow, something it's nice and soft up. Yeah, you're, you're getting that sweetness. Is it a lighter bottle? Try it. Give it a shot. Yeah, Dave, try the Joke it up. cider. We're swapping cups all over the place. Fuck, yeah, man. Man. <laughs> Right? That's pretty good, isn't it? A nice yeah. sweet mm. juiciness. It's to a it. lighter yeah. IPA. Yeah, yeah. 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 like yeah. it tastes like a hazy IPA. Yes, it yeah. tastes like. But hoppy. But yeah. very hoppy. This is hoppy. That's hoppy. This to is me, this hoppy. Is still Storm light breaker for hoppy, is. Though. This is kind of light for Should hoppy. Should be called really? hop breaker. Maybe it's because right, I Dave, have that cherry. What What do you got thoughts on this cherry? <laughs> no, I'm not saying anything. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I do like the band in rain cherry, but the, I like everything by band in rain. Yeah. I really like that. But I like sours and tarts yeah. when it comes to a spice. Yeah, yeah, I just, I just I have do. that. It's like like tart back. Yes. A little sweet cherry. A little bit for band and rain. You can still tell this is a cider. Yeah. Yes. I like that. It's still a cider yeah, really with a little bit of cherry. For band and rain, it's on the tart you side. Smell it? It's really good. Five and a half hours. I get a lot of okay, yes. I get vinegar, so I think my nose is messed up from COVID. <laughs> I do not get vinegar. I get vinegar. Honestly. We all have COVID. That's just me. She obviously gets the cherry on it. I do. Oh, I do. Smell any cherry. Oh, it's definitely cherry. I can taste it, Dave. I yeah. can't smell it. No, I can't smell it. No, no, no. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Hey, let me try this on the nose. On the nose. See, I get, I get a lot more. A little bit. Vinegary. Yeah, I get more apple-ish. Yeah, cider. like cider vinegar, apple cider vinegar. Yeah. But I, when you drink it, you don't get that. You get more of that sweet cherry apple and then a tart. Yeah. You work the next day. Yep. Hot. <laughs> green hop for this one. It's not like the whole drink. Like it's a mean it's green extremely hop. green hop on this one. I'm sorry, but that's Bell yeah. 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 That's just that, that's Ghost Town, Dave. I know. That's sweet, delicious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Easy to drink. And hoppier. ABF. Or ABR. ABF. ABF. Don't even. Wow. And she's fired second day. It's fine. Uh, she's great for comedy relief too. Welcome. ABVs aren't that. I mean, this is six point four percent. I didn't look at mine. Yeah, no. This was at least nine. Twelve point nine, I think. No. Just kidding. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. We would have to look. All right, guys. Yeah, Watch I don't your up. Reverie Records, as yes. you can expect. Come sit down where we're sitting, have a drink, grab a record, or grab a coffee, and hang out in a local spot yeah. downtown Roseburg. And if you don't like beer, they have crazy, you know, crazy amounts of sake here also. They have tea? They have sake, they sake have tea, right they got coffee. Oh I've and just games. Sake. Games. games. They got Kurt Cobain, yeah. some cool stuff. Kurt Cobain. Yeah. And many other celebrities here. Yeah, a lot of cool pictures. Yeah. The vibes in here are nice. Yeah. It gives me the espresso oh, coffee. Okay. Yeah, yeah, just chill and hang out. Just hang out. Yeah. Uh, so, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hit the subscribe button. We'll see you at the next spot. Cheers. Till next time. Keep beverage honey. Drink local. Cameraman's. <laughs> <laughs>